It's Laura Eubanks of Design for Serenity with your succulent tip of the day. And what a glorious day it's been. I got up about, well, Bentley got me up about 5.30 as per usual. Um, morning routine, I make, uh, let him out. Then I make myself a cup of coffee. I scroll through my phone. Uh, then I take him for a walk. And the last two days, he hasn't made it far. We get down to um, Shadow Ridge Drive, which is kind of a busy street, and he turns his tail under and starts whining and wants to come home. Two days in a row. I don't know uh, what his deal is. He was fine. So point being, the walk was cut short, which got me out here at about 7 o'clock. And I've been going ever since. Oh my gosh. Greg went and got me another load of boulders. Uh, another 36. So 36, 36, 36. Over 100 boulders so far. We've worked into this landscape. And I got so far today. I did not dream that I would make it this far. Didn't do anything in the flanking beds. Um except set a few more flagstones and put down a few uh, little more pebbles. But this back, section three here, I'm almost done. Here's some highlights. The, my precious agave attenuata variegata um, decided I would work it in back here because I will enjoy it more back here. And I did my best to smoke and mirror the damage by staging a boulder and a little euphorbia milii there. And from a distance, when you step back, you can't tell. So I'm super happy with that. Um, I moved a number of my pots into the landscape in here, which was always going to be my plan. No, I haven't done any blinging or top dressing yet, um, but I did get my whale rib staged here. Um, I've anchored it with boulders, so I feel quite confident that it's going to be secure. Uh, it's not heavy. I mean, it's not going to kill anybody if it falls. I just don't, you know, I don't want it to fall. Um, the Aluaudia Procera from our garden in Chula Vista. Uh, it, it, we had to cut it down um, by about 50% and I buried it really deep. You will note my barrel cactus to complete my phallus. And my phallus is the biggest phallus that I have ever seen. So I'm pretty happy with that. This red pot is the one that Greg accidentally broke when we were moving plant material over here uh, from Chula Vista. So I just took a broken piece and shoved it against the side. Um, you know, I'm happy with that. I like that. Uh, this ruchia here came out of the lemon tree pot. I know you all have told me, you know, that lemon tree doesn't particularly like to compete with other plant materials. So I took it out and I'm thrilled with it in that spot. I'd like to work some more ruchia in. Uh, but I did get all of these plants that weren't my own from Waterwise Botanicals and they don't sell ruchia. So um, that's the only one I have right now. My crazy wonky Celisto Cactus Grisonii. <sighs> I know you guys told me stake it, but I don't know. I'm I'm gonna just see what happens. I don't I don't hate that. It's funny. Um, got my beautiful Aeonium Sunburst Crest uh, staged. My beautiful Aloe Cynthia uh, Giddy Dorothea. That was a gift from my sweet friend Gordon in that green pot just loving that this pot blue pot was actually over in the section that I did first uh, at the corner but once I started working on the raised bed it was too tall so I'll show you my workaround on that um, this is the pack of podium that was in my foster program this is the one that we took out of our client's garden in Bonita because she didn't like it and you know thought it was dead and it kind of was um, it made it come back briefly in my garden and then it's been sitting here on the hot um, tiles for the last two weeks uh, but I'm gonna give it a try we're gonna see what happens 
Then I've got my beautiful aloe ferox. Um, then, you know, just from here to the lime tree is all I have left to do over here. You can see that I still have a plethora of plants, uh, but I also still have a lot of work to do on all the interior beds and my front entryway. So, you know, I'm still feeling pretty good about my, uh, about my plants. This Euphorbia milii variegata is looking a little, didn't love the move, um, but it's alive and it's fine. I'm gonna plant it over there uh, in the raised bed near the egg chair. Um, for my last element of height over there. And this pot, sorry, I'm all over the place. This pot was in the landscape when we moved in with the Senecio vitalis, which is the ugliest succulent that there ever was. And it's so ironic to me that it's in a pot. And that was like the only succulent in this yard when we moved in. I'm gonna take this out of here and I'm gonna put this agave quiche can in that pot. I think that that distressed kind of yellowy gold against the blue of this plant is going to be really spectacular. Um, and here is my workaround on this section. I moved my uh, whale's tail, my Pacopodium lumerii crest, to this spot over here and I love it. Um, that blue pot was just too tall and was blocking everything behind. Um, I got my Bacarnia in. This Crassula Argentia Sunset Variegata Hobbit um, was in a 15 gallon can on my side garden in Chula Vista for at least six months. And I'm so happy that I was able to work it into the garden um, here. Just couldn't be more happy. Here's the little uh, ceramic shell that was under the pergola in Chula Vista. And I've still got, you know, I still obviously have tapestry work um, to do to pop some, you know, things in hither and thither. But this was really challenging. This was not easy. I started by going to the front door and looking straight out. And that's where the Euphorbia trigona is and the Talavera pot with the mangave in it and the whale's rib. Um, you know, I wanted from the front entrance when you looked through the house for it to be a, a big fat wow. So I started there and I ha kept having to come back, go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth to look to get it to get it balanced because I, you know, I can't raise the soil level too dramatically. I don't want to put push dirt against the concrete. Um, I need to keep, you know, I need to keep um, my, my mounding braced so I have boulders behind, also in areas to shore up soil. Uh, but I did want to create movement. I did want to create mounds. I had also a lot of pots that I wanted to pop in and my Talavera pieces. And it's just, you know, again, those three R's and trying to restrain 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 but gosh guys every time i went to the front to bring back another load of soil or boulders and i turned that corner i mean it is beyond it's just beyond i i'm speechless um this is so thrilling i so thrilling i am you know i knew i would have a lot of fun doing my own garden knew that but i didn't have any idea it was going to be like this this is, it, I, I mean, there just aren't words for how this is coming out and coming together. And I have all of you to thank for that. All of your encouragement, your support, your suggestions. I have Greg to thank for that. Uh, my partner in crime, the one that helps me do all of the things I can't do. Um, and it's just, it really has taken a village, but I'm, I'm actually emotional. Um, I'm just so thrilled. I wish you could all see it in person. Okay, we've decided, you know, we, this has been through a lot of ideas. Um, this little putt-putt, uh, there's two, a hole here and then there's a hole down there. And now we're back to, let's just put down some fake grass and make it a putt-putt thing. Um, our grandson and our son-in-law golf. So 
you know, I mean, that's what it was originally. And we're thinking we're just going to do that. Feeling pretty good about it. Um, you guys mentioned some really valid points about weather and, you know, like in the winter when it rains, can you imagine what a hot mess sand would be? There's no drainage, just a solid concrete. Um, and in the neighborhood animals, wild and domestic, using this as a toilet. Yeah. So yeah, I think we're just gonna go with the turf and make a little putt-putt thingy doodle here and call it a day. Um, one other exciting development. Look what Greg was working on last night. Can you guess what this is going to be over here? You're right. Greg is going to install a fountain. So we are going to have that water element out here too. Um, ah, gosh, that's so dang exciting. Okay. All right. So, uh, yeah, I think I got a package from Amazon. I think it's one of my Etia rugs. I believe that our uh, furniture is supposed to arrive tomorrow, I think. Um, and then, of course, Hannah has her, in, her install, groundbreaking on Monday, and I want to be available for her. Um, but gosh dang, guys, I think within the next few days, we may actually be able to see a fairly finished garden out here. So fasten your seatbelts. Have a fantastic Saturday night, and I will catch you tomorrow for Sunday Fun Day. Bye, guys.